my number two employee from eMachines gave me a call and said, uh, boss, I've just found this unbelievable technology that allows, uh, you know, whole bunches of users to share a PC, and I think we can build these client devices to sell for much less than a hundred bucks. Uh, I asked a few questions. I said, well, Young, if you can really do this, you potentially can change the world. End computing is about desktop virtualization. We're about taking the unused power of any desktop PC and allowing that unused power to allow 10, 20, 30 simultaneous users to use one machine. Uh, we sell the software and the client devices, which together cost from $70 a workstation compared to three to $400 for a traditional PC. The company has an interesting history starting out as a German-Polish software company which spent 10 years creating vSpace, which is to be an Uber Citrix solving the cost, complexity, and user experience problems, which then was acquired by a Korean uh, company which uh, then focused on building complementary uh, client devices which were low cost, exceptional user experience, reliable, simple to install, and, uh, and uh, then when we raised institutional venture capital money here in the Bay Area, we became an American company uh, with uh, a Korean, and German, and uh, Polish operations. As we brought the products to market in uh, 2006, uh, and because of our Korean and German background, we were in shows around the world, uh, we did a quick scan of who the dealers were selling our products to. And what we saw was education, schools in Malaysia, schools in the Philippines, schools in Brazil, India, et cetera. We got the message. Uh, this, t if you look at education, they have uh, two really key problems. Number one is, what marketplace needs the largest number of workstations for students with the smallest amount of money to spend? It's always education. Uh, and therefore, education reacted to the fact that these devices fully deployed cost uh, one quarter the cost of a traditional PC. Well, it's, it's quite amazing. I mean, here in the United States, based on IDG's numbers for purchasing in uh, education in the uh, second quarter, we already, after just two years of being in the market here, have 15% of all work, current workstation purchases in U.S. K-12 education. That's, that's spectacular. Last year, uh, it had become so profound that we were invited to brief uh, Secretary Spellings uh, because her Office of Technology said this is rising so quickly quickly that she needed to understand it from a policy perspective. Beyond the United States, our largest market internationally is education as well, and we've won some of the largest educational deployments worldwide with 180,000 workstations in, of all places, Macedonia, uh, to give every single student in the country their own dedicated computer workstation. In India, 50,000 seats uh, in the state uh, that where Hyderabad is the capital. Uh, first time the government has ever put computer computer workstations in public schools, and in fact, uh, we just won an award for the most socially important computer deployment in India last year. Uh, and this conti has continued everywhere. Mexico, uh, I believe half of the states of Mexico are purchasing end computing workstations for their primary education. We just recently announced a project with a, a, a rural school district in Louisiana called Tanja Pahoa. Uh, I can't say that twice. Uh, and uh, it's a small school district, 20,000 total students. And, uh, and when they received their stimulus funding, uh, they said, we may not get an opportunity to buy more computers for a couple of years here because schools funding is predominantly based off real estate taxes and state level and municipal level uh, uh, transaction taxes taxes, and that's going to be way down for several years until the recovery is finished. So in fact, they spent the entire stimulus funds on IT and deployed 6,000 of our workstations to get to one for every three students, which is just spectacular to be able to have that kind of an impact, knowing that if it was traditional PCs, it would have been one for like uh, 12 or 15 students. Uh, well, you know, uh, uh, we, we're in a very uncertain economic climate right now, and the markets 
for IPOs are just beginning to come back. I think we've seen some very successful transactions in the last few months. Uh, we regularly are in communication with the investment banking community, and we're told that based on our current uh, run rate uh, and our forecast for next year, that we could expect opportunities if the marketplace uh, uh, holds up uh, in the back half of next year. We won uh, uh, a laureateship uh, from the Tech Museum of Innovation uh, this past year in economic development for creating a technology which has created sustainable IT ecosystems in the developing world where none have existed before. Uh, the question of can a good company be a good company is one that you know, we're the answer, and it's absolutely yes. It's had profound effects on our company. You know, we've got about 160 employees. Uh, we're headquartered here in Silicon Valley. Our uh, voluntary turnover has essentially been zero. I think we've had two people leave the company, uh, and that's unheard of in the Silicon Valley where turnover is 20%. We have uh, the former head of the Windows uh, group at Microsoft who also ran their emerging markets division as a, an investor and member of our board uh, and he is now a social technologist uh, in his uh, life after Microsoft. Uh, the uh, Bill Platt who runs our uh, uh, software development group uh, used to run the Solaris and Java groups at Sun so arguably two of the five top software executives in the industry have gravitated to us uh, because not only only are we at the leading edge of, of technology, uh, desktop virtualization, cloud workstations, and the like. But because of the very low cost of these solutions, uh, we have enabled vast new markets outside of the United States and in underserved markets in the U.S., like education, which has made a tremendous social impact. And it's something we're tremendously proud of, our, our team is proud of, and it ripples through the entire fabric of the organization in a sense of social significance. We've, we're working very closely with the United Nations, and we can do all this while having a, quote, software company gross margin and building a fantastic business at the same time. It doesn't get better than that. I got the best job in the world. <laughs>